short video tutorial, I want to talk about Octree uh, because one of our YouTube users asked about it. So I'm just going to explain it in a really simple and a short example. Uh, you can find, uh, let me just explain what Octree is. You can see it in Wikipedia that uh, an Octree is a tree data structure in which each internal node has exactly eight children. So you can see that uh, it just uh, divides into eight uh, octans and it goes down. So you can see that a box goes to an eight box and then it just, you can divide this node into eight box again. So basically uh, what we can do is uh, we can find uh, Octree by searching OC can see that you can, you can find it here or uh, you can also go to uh, just show you uh, into the mesh menu and triangulation so here it is mesh triangulation and you can find the oak tree component so uh, what does it need to produce the trees or the oak trees is it's a, a the first input is a series of points input points so what you can do here is exactly produce a box and put points in it. This is the first and the most simple example you can do. Uh, you can go and select the box okay, and set a box to this. You can make it uh, more dynamic by producing a dynamic or a parametric box into the surface, into the primitives. And let's make a, a box, maybe a center box. Doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm going to give a, a size for this. Okay. Here we have it. It's a box that we can control the size. Next, I'm going to make a series of points in this box. You can easily search for pop or populate. Uh, this uh, this component can make a series of random points in a desired geometry or a, in a 2D box or in a 3D box. So I'm going to use popular geometry because you can use it everywhere. You can use it in any geometry. So I'm going to search for pop, popular geometry. It's located in the vector and in the grid field. You can find it here. Okay. I can give the box to the geometry and you can see that it produces 100 points into that box. So uh, you can increase it, maybe 50, and you can see that it makes, a more, it makes more points. You can change the location by the seed, so I'm going to give a new number to the seed, uh, maybe from 1 to 1000 and different points you can change it by giving it different numbers and let me just connect this to the points of octree and select all of these and make them go disable preview and we can also uh, disable this preview and connect a box to the boxes okay uh, you can also connect a display a custom preview component to the box so you can see what it is okay here we have it you can see that uh, this is the box that we made so the octree will not go, out, uh, go outside the box but if you select the square lifts and uh, change it to true so we can just use a toggle TOG Boolean toggle and just connect this to the square and make it true you can see that it will extend because it will have a leaf uh, or leaves because uh, those are extension of the octree boxes and what is really happening here is um, it's producing a series of box that contain the points you can see there's one box for this point but uh, another big box for these three points and because it's uh, the algorithm starts with a box and just goes further and divides it into eight 
different boxes. Uh, these, uh, and when it reaches the end of the surface, you can see that we have more eight boxes here. Okay, so you can basically change the box. Let me just go from here. You can change this box, make it bigger. Uh, you can change the location of the points. You can make uh, more or less points if you want. Uh, but there's a tip here. If you uh, make this true, you can see that it will extend. And if you make the uh, more points, you will just fill up the box. So the next uh, input is, let me just make this false, the group number. If you increase this number, the number of the group boxes will just make the box full of boxes because each uh, leaf. So let me just say this is a place that a leaf will extend. So it will fill up. Uh, if you just decrease it, you can see that we have uh, lesser groups on the leaves, uh, permitted content per leaf, and you can make a, more, a less denser box for the arc tree. So I can just uh, change these points and make different ones. You can also use uh, random reduce so you can basically delete a set of boxes. So I'm going to use random reduce, give it to this box, maybe delete 35 of these boxes and then give this to the geometry. So you can easily decrease uh, those boxes into whatever you want and uh, have the decreased, random decreased octree, reduced octree. So this is uh, basically a really simple example of the octree. You can use it for different purposes, but here we are. Uh, in other tutorials I will talk about uh, other trees like quad tree uh, that you can use for 2D, but this is the video tutorial for octree. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to put it underneath this uh, YouTube video. And uh, thank you, thank you again. Yeah.